Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22631.2271. This build is not a big build for the beta channel. It mostly includes fixes, but it likely marks the feature complete stage for Windows 11 23H2, as stated by Phantom Ocean 3. So in the beta channel, we likely now have the full feature set from Windows 11 23H2. And of course, this means that pretty soon we will see all of these features in the release preview channel and then on the main release with the official Windows 11 23H2 launch. Also, Panther on Twitter discovered that this build from the beta channel now includes packages for 23H2's enablement or payload and uh, I think this is also pretty interesting. But of course, in this video, we're going to talk about what has changed and what is fixed in this build. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that we won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Regarding Windows Ink, the improvements in Windows Ink introduced in a few builds ago that enabled inking directly into edit fields is being temporarily disabled for Windows and Saturns in the beta channel because Microsoft is trying to fix some bugs impacting the usability of this experience. In this build, we also have fixes related to the file explorer. So for example, Microsoft fixed an issue where the progress wheel in the tab would get stuck showing that file explorer was loading a folder when the loading had already finished. They fixed an issue where rapidly opening two file explorer windows might make explorer.exe crash. They fix an issue which could make Explorer.exe crash when navigating away from home. Also an issue where trying to open gallery after new images had been added might result in a crash was fixed. Made a few more fixes to help improve File Explorer launch performance, including fixing a leak which would impact performance over time. They also fixed an issue where File Explorer sorting changes wouldn't persist in folders after you navigated away and back. They also fixed an issue which could cause the icons in the File Explorer tabs to be incorrect. Regarding Windows Copilot, Microsoft fixed an issue that was causing the Windows Copilot icon in the taskbar to be flipped backwards for right to left languages. Regarding input, they fixed a high hitting tab tip.exe crash that may have impacted the ability to type in the last couple of flights. Regarding taskbar settings, they fixed an issue where switching search to be an icon in taskbar settings could cause explorer.exe to crash. Regarding div drives, they fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to paste a folder path to mount into the dialog when creating a new dev drive. Regarding task manager, they fixed an issue that could cause task manager to crash when using the end task option in the details page in recent builds. Regarding HDR wallpapers, they fixed a sporadic explorer.exe crash related to the use of an HDR wallpaper. And they also fixed an issue where trying to take window mode screenshots was taking screenshots of the entire screen instead of the app in focus or some insiders. In this build, we also have an update for the Microsoft Store. So you can just go ahead into Microsoft Store library and then get updates to get all the latest updates. But basically, we have a new Game Pass page, which will allow you to explore and subscribe to PC Game Pass or Game Pass Ultimate through the new dedicated page. And this is pretty much all there is to it in the beta channel. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.